Wait, is this recording? Yeah. Hey, I'm at the soccer field with this tape measure to measure from that tree line over there to that one over there, because tonight, after it gets dark, we're gonna come back to test the hell out of this, the all new Javelot Mini Pro by Olin. But before that, we're gonna take it through its paces right over here. And as I show you the unboxing, a very quick ethics statement that Olight did send me this torch to test, but this video is not sponsored by Olight. And as with all of my reviews, Olight is hearing my thoughts, both positive and negative, at the same time as you. The package comes with the light itself, a compact 18500 battery packing 2,040 milliamp hours, an Olight magnetic disc charger, and an easy drop holster. What's most interesting to me is this torch's size. I mean, it's by no means objectively small, and yet the name bears the word mini. With an overall length of just over four and a half inches and a touch over one and a half inches in diameter at its widest point, why does it exist? In the world of flashlights, there are literally thousands of options, but from a starting point, there are two general categories of beam types. Floodlights that cast a wide beam to illuminate a large area, and spotlight throwers that can send a very focused beam at greater distances. This Javelot is definitely in the latter camp, and we can tell because of its physical design. In order to throw a beam at great distances, you want a few things. One, a single light source, which, as you can see at the base of the head, sports this one little square LED chip. Two, a deep and smooth reflector dish, which as you can see with this Javelot Mini is indeed smooth like a mirror and about an inch and a half deep. Compared to say this Nightcore T4K, which is packing not one but four light sources and shallow reflectors with the four LED chips very close to the top edge. And so taking both to my wall right now, you can see that the Nightcore's 200 spreads the light quite evenly across a large portion of the wall, while the Javelot Mini, set also at 200 lumens for this shot, has a tremendous hotspot smack dab in the middle. Flood versus spot. And you'll also notice that the Javelot Mini's wall strike makes it look much, much brighter than the Nightcore at the same lumen output setting because, well, at this particular center hotspot, it most certainly is. This is why despite lumens being the most referenced and advertised metric for torches, Candela is just as important, especially when dealing with spotlights or those advertised with the long distance beam throw. Looking out the window right now, the sun is starting to set, so before I take it back to the field with me, let's explore its build, durability, and user interface. This thing is built like a tank. Aircraft grade aluminum and anodized for added hardness, it's got a nice beefy grip combined with a reinforced and ridged strike bezel, since it also supports first responder and tactical applications. It's got a great 5 foot or 1.5 meter drop resistance rating and a maximized IPX8 waterproof rating, which means, assuming the battery cap is screwed on tight, you can completely submerge this torch underwater for hours and it'll keep on ticking like it's supposed to. This torch is no nonsense, and the available output settings and user interface reflect that, with just two outputs, a 200 lumen low mode and a 1000 lumen high mode, both of which are triggered with the single button on the tail. A half press and release to engage the 200 lumens at nearly 18,000 candela for nearly five full hours on a full charge, and a full clicked press and release of the same button to sail 1000 lumens at an insane 88,000 candela. But I'm getting bored with numbers and night has fallen, so let's head to the soccer field to see this thing in action. I'll be testing it against this Nightcore TUP1000 for two reasons. One, both torches have a 200 lumen setting and a 1000 lumen setting for a clear side-by-side -side comparison. And two, because a Nightcore is definitely an EDC floodlight, so we can see the drastic difference between it and the spotlight throw of this Javelot Mini. To show you a bit behind the scenes, I'm mounting this small clamp by small rig to the hot shoe of my camera, and then we'll mount each light separately to capture the beam in a controlled and measured way. So here we go. As I measured earlier today, from the base of that hill to the tree line opposite, we are at 148 meters or 485 feet. Standing at the base of the hill, I'll start with the Nightcore TUP and set it to 200 lumens, packing 1425 candela, and as you can see, we've got decent visibility. Definitely plenty for standard EDC use cases where I can clearly see about 30 meters or 100 feet. Shooting it up to its 1000 lumen turbo mode, sending just over 8000 candela, we can see the instant amplified impact and zooming in with the lens, what was completely pitch black before, we can now sort of see the opposite goal, although not very clearly at such a great distance. Swapping over to the Javelot Mini, we can see that at 200 lumens with its paired near 18,000 candela, the intensity is much greater with significantly less peripheral illumination than the floodlight of the night core, but the throw makes it so the opposite goal is so clearly visible. Blasting it up to 1,000 lumen output with 11 times the candela of the night core at over 88,000 candela, well, holy crap, right? The opposite tree line 485 feet away is clearly visible to the point where zooming in with the lens, we can really see clear detail in the trees of the opposite tree line. 
But again, because it's a focused spotlight, we need to physically move the torch to aim at where we want to see because the light itself doesn't flood the entire area. As with all my reviews, I of course have to share my criticisms. I've got two items on my wish list for a version 2. The first, despite the provided holster being sturdy and one that inspires confidence, I still would love for there to be a removable clip since holsters aren't everyone's preference. I totally get that under tactical applications a clip would get in the way of a true hard use hammer grip, but if there were a detachable clip like this one on their Warrior Mini 2, at least we would have the choice. The second item on my wish list for a version 2 is that I wish they had one more output setting, a low mode of say 15 lumens or even a moonlight mode of 1 or 2 lumens. I can see this torch definitely coming with me on camping trips for its insane throw at such a compact size, but sometimes when I'm in the woods I need just a tiny bit of illumination to say find something I dropped right next to me, where even the lowest 200 lumen setting on this Javelot Mini would be way overkill. I mean, I dropped this piece of paper at the soccer field, and as you can see, even on the lowest 200 lumen setting of the Javelot, the 18,000 candela is so intense that I can't even read what's written on that piece of paper. But if I switch to the Nightcore TUP and switch it to the low mode at 15 lumens, ah, <laughs> right, that's what I wrote. And hey, if you think this Javelot Mini is right for you, even though this video is not sponsored by Olight, Olight has been kind enough to let me share a 10% discount on regular priced items site-wide using the links in the description and code MAURICEMOVES at checkout. But also, flashlights in general can be a confusing space to navigate with so many variables beyond just floodlight versus spotlight, so you'll definitely want to watch this video right over here. I'll leave it on screen for a few more seconds so you can click or tap it. But hey, since we're in the clicking and tapping mood, consider hitting that like, subscribe, and bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drop.